All right, here we go. It's Eating with Sasquatch. I am the Sasquatch. And today, from the Angry Goat Pepper Company, we have the elusive purple hippo. This, this sauce right here, this actually comes to me from my friends at Heat 101, uh, Bella from Heat 101. This is one of her favorite sauces ever. Um, I was actually surprised she, <laughs> she gave me the bottle. That's like, it's hard to believe. You know, there's, I don't know. I guess I've, I've given them a, a couple bottles of pineapple, and that's one of my favorites. So, um, get this a little shook up. Not pretty shook. Uh, I love I love the labels on there. They got these labels that look like a little kid kind of drew them, kind of colored them in or whatnot. I like it. Simple, yet satisfying. This stuff looks like got a lot of parts and pieces, a lot of parts and pieces. It's moving around in the bottle pretty good, so it's going to be kind of a different pour. Now, I see people using this stuff for a variety of things. I'm anticipating it being kind of sweet. Uh, it says it's prickly pear and scorpion. I'm not a big fan of scorpion, but who knows? Let's see. Ooh, it had a nice seal on it. Ooh, interesting. Hmm. Okay. Now I've seen a lot of people uh, use this on the uh, on like peanut butter sandwiches and whatnot. I'm gonna use the uh, Sasquatch spoon on this. The old Sasquatch spoon. Shouldn't say old. It just came to me just recently from uh, Missy L. Thank you again for that. Really appreciate it. Ooh, nice pour on that. I was actually expecting it to come kind of come pouring out a little faster. Very, I, I would say it's very pepper forward on this. I really feel like one of the main things I smell, there's a sweetness to it. There's a sweetness and maybe a hint of vinegar. I can't tell for sure. But there is a very strong pepper smell there. So, God, I hope I like this stuff. I really don't want to, I don't want to let you down, Bella. I don't want to let you down. Matter of fact, go down in the, the description down there and, uh, I guess I'll put, a, I'll put a link in there for Angry Angry Goat Pepper Company. I, I like those people, so definitely we'll do that. But also down in the description, there's links to the friends of the show. Heat 101, go check them out. This is their shirt right here. Go check them out. They're awesome friends of mine. They are basically my family. Um, and yeah, go check them out. And also while you're going down there, stop off and hit the subscribe button and hit that little notification bell right next to that. Doesn't cost you anything to do that. Please do that for me. It helps grow my channel, and I appreciate it. Cheers. Very sweet, Woo. very pepper forward too. That is an interesting taste. Woo. It's got some kick. I uh, I kind of was anticipating some kick. Not gonna lie, because it's it's Bella. She uh, she definitely would like the uh, scorpion kick, and scorpions tend to have that punch like right away. The heat on this. I'm gonna call it a three. I don't think it's gonna go beyond that. It's got a nice tongue, it's got a stingy tongue burn, um, which is indicative of the scorpions. A little too sweet for me. Um, I don't, let's read the ingredients. Maybe, maybe it's trying to be something that I'm not feeling. I don't know, like I wouldn't, Maybe like an ice cream with this stuff. I could see it, I could see it going good with an ice cream. Uh, well, let's read this part first. Our purple hippo has one of the most unique flavors there is. Prickly pear fruit has a watermelon bubblegum flavor that pairs well with spicy peppers. I, I would agree with that. It's an, it's it's an interesting flavor, and yeah, there is kind of an, almost a watermelon esque flavor to it, especially after the aftertaste. Very much. We combine the prickly pear with habanero and scorpion peppers, which is kind of one of the things that's kind of off-putting me about it, and rounded it off with strawberries to create a one-of-a-kind sauce. Try a purple hippo on poultry, pork, ice cream, or in a frozen daiquiri. Okay, so, I mean, I'm trying to think of any poultry. I, I, I myself would not put this on poultry. Pork, I could see this on. Um, if you had like a good, 
thick cut uh, pork chop. This would go probably pretty good on that. Um, I feel like the sweetness would offset really well with the uh, with the pork. Um, just kind of like a, a you know barbecue type sauce where you know you kind of got the sweet with the with the pork and it goes well. Ice cream, like I said, I could I could maybe see it going with an ice cream. I would definitely say that. It's, it's got a strawberry-esque flavor, but an also a watermelon-esque flavor. So I feel like vanilla ice cream would probably be good. Other than vanilla, maybe, I don't know, maybe some strawberry ice cream or something. Or a frozen daiquiri. Um, I don't really drink, so especially daiquiri, sorry. So I don't, I don't know on that. I would say maybe, <laughs> maybe not a daiquiri drinker, so... <laughs> Uh, no, it's, it's not bad. Um, I'm definitely curious to try a lot more of their stuff. This one, I hate to say it, please don't kill me, Bella. Not really my speed, but again, if you like scorpion peppers, you like habanero peppers, um, and, and it is very unique, it is a very unique sauce, you may very well love this. And I mean, this, it's one of those things that Heather, uh, Bella, she, she freaking absolutely adores this sauce so yeah um there's there's good reason that this stuff is very popular i think it's just not really my cup of tea and i think really it's probably just the scorpions and the habaneros just not my not my speed um and it's very pepper forward too so i'm, gonna, I'm still gonna call it a three in heat definitely appreciate it dark bella heat 101 you guys know i love you I appreciate that. It was awesome. I got to spend Christmas with them. Uh, well, at least Christmas morning. I, I didn't spend the whole day there. Uh, I came back and spent some time with my family. But yeah. Anyways, till next time, eat like a squatch.